So this is our dining table. It has a leaf that goes in it and it looks horrible, which this is not for my DIY project. This is what Michael's had for like over 20 years. So I'm going to be using the Waverly chalk paint and hazelnut to see if I like it or not. And if I don't, I'll probably use the stain that I brought when we purchased the house almost three years ago. take the scarf off my head so I don't always be in the video with my scarf on but as soon as I get finished it's coming back going back on my head so I'm, I'm gonna show you three things that I, I recently recently purchased um, I did get some refills on uh, my Bath and Body Works wallflower they have this special where you can get like the 5 for 23 and so I got the Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit which I got before and then I got a new one the um champagne toast it really smells really good um so I just wanted to see what it smelled like because I never hardly ever go in the store um to be able to like really smell the scents so I kind of just pick fruity and just read the description and pray for the best um, and of course they give you a 20% off coupon but I always try to get stuff when it's their annual sale and I was like lollygagging and I should have got it when I first um, saw it because I would have got more, but I didn't. Um, so you know how that goes, they run out really quick. But like I said, it was five for 23, so they were like 288 each. Um, but it was five for 23 or five for 18, I can't remember, but I only paid $21. Um, Cause I think I got a discount code that I used can't remember but it was $21.62 so that will go in the stockpile um, because you know I go between the wildflowers and um, the glade plugins the cherry blossom peony scent but I normally get that from Sam's Club and they have been out online um, so I don't know when they're gonna restock I, don't, I guess it's seasonal um, I did get a new scent at the Dollar General, they sold them in the five pack. I don't remember the name. If I go back in there, I'll try to like uh, put the scent. It smells really good. It smells really similar um, to the cherry blossom. But the next item is I got a um, Downs comforter uh, for that you could use your duvet covers on. I brought a duvet cover. You can kind of see it right here. It's purple. Um, 
that um, I didn't know you had to have a downs comforter. It was just like I moved, we moved in the house. I ordered it thinking like, oh, you heard about duvet covers, but not knowing like how the heck to use them. So it's been in the closet ever since. Like I took it off the bed because I tried to use a regular comforter and put it inside, but it kept like bunching up. Um, so I found a great deal. I use bradsdeals.com and they send you daily emails on what sales are going on on all different stores. And this store, um, it's like called Deal Steals or Steal Deals, something like that. I'll try to leave it in the description box. But I got this um, all season downs comforter for 30 bucks or 23 something like that. And I'm excited. And that's for a king size. Because, um, you know, down comforters are super expensive. Um, but to me, they're worth it. But I'm cheap. And so I never want to spend $150, $60 to get a down comforter. Um, so... It's called Daily Steals is the um the company or that does it and they're kind of like a brass deal also but it's the um, Beauty Sleep All Season Downs Comforter Downs Alternative Comforter in white. Kind of show you guys that. I don't know if that's backwards or not, but it feels really soft because you can do it. Um, so this is the packaging. It's a king, so I will be putting our duvet into that, and it's easier for you to spend the money on the Downs comforter, and you can switch out your duvet covers versus having to always like go buy new comforters over and over and over again. So that was an amazing um, invention uh, that people have come up with. And the final thing, I'm so tired. I'm so excited about this though. Let me, um, flip it around. Guys, we broke down and brought a robot vacuum from Best Choice Products. Yeah. So, yeah, we broke down and brought a uh, robot vacuum, but this one is a three in one it sweeps vacuums and mops and it was a hundred and ninety four dollars we got it off the walmart site but it's made by uh best choice products for 194 that's not bad because you know the irobot they're super expensive and they do have a mop one but it's separate so you would have to buy two different things so the reviews like i said were like really good um, and just having chronic illness and, you know, Michael having issues with his neck and me having issues with my back and now my neck from, you know, the incident, um, we just need something that can help us out. And I feel like if you have chronic illness, um, whether it's fibromyalgia, whatever it is, and you know, it's hard for you to do your daily things because we don't know from one day to the next how we're going to feel. I'm trying to get this out while I'm talking. <laughs> um, so it was worth the investment. So let me turn the camera back around. So this is the box. So it's self-charging. It has its own docking station, three-in-one design. So let me open it up so we can see what's inside. All right, guys. So I'm just having it do what it considers walls. It's trying to learn, I guess, all of the areas of the house. Kind of loud, but. I mean, it's not as loud as the vacuum cleaner, but I'm trying to learn the remote on how to set it 
because you can set it to do every day at a certain time. I'm just moving stuff because, I mean, it would reverse itself to find a different way to get back to where it was gonna go, but I'm excited. Um, I'm gonna just let it do its thing. I'm gonna change the mode and have it do a full clean.